Hey everyone, Lance here. Welcome to my review today on the Pioneer 5.1 Home Theater Speakers by Andrew Jones. If you have the space for these, you will not find better sounding speakers at this price. That being said, there are some reasons you might want to choose something else, which I'll talk more about as well as comparing these to other speaker systems and giving you some tips to help you get the best sound quality possible from these speakers. Now remember to check below for any additional information about these speakers, especially where you can get them at for the best price. Also, if you're interested in the individual reviews of any of these speakers, check below for links to those videos as well. I'll start out by showing you a comparison of the specs of these different speakers, and then I'll also go into the design and build quality a bit as well. Now currently, the only color option available is the ash black veneer. While they're certainly not ugly looking, they won't impress you with their looks either. The build quality though is where these speakers really shine. The drivers, for example, have substantial motor structures, which is rare for a speaker system at this price. So instead of getting the typical half-inch dome tweeter with a weak magnet, Pioneer uses a real one-inch soft dome tweeter with a powerful ferrite motor structure and a waveguide in the entire speaker lineup, which improves sensitivity, low-end response, and control. The towers even have vented pole pieces on the two bottom base drivers, and this reduces turbulence and helps with thermal venting. This is another example of why these speakers sound so good compared to competing speakers. Other companies are selling a pair of speakers for the same cost as this entire home theater setup, and yet they're not adding the same level of detail and build quality to their speakers. The same can be said about the crossover technology Pioneer uses as well. Typically, you'll find a very basic first order crossover on the tweeter and often nothing at all on the base driver. But these speakers have a six element crossover on the bookshelf and center channel speakers, and then an eight element crossover on the towers. It's another unexpected detail for speakers at this price, and yet another reason you won't find better sounding speakers for the money. Next, I'll talk about the sound quality and how these speakers performed compared to some other home theater speakers. Now, I found these speakers easily deliver a quality of sound that's competitive with systems twice as expensive and sometimes even more. You'll find these produce plenty of detail, the top end is open and refined. The mid base is beautifully structured in a way that's firm, well-focused, well-defined, and blends perfectly with a likewise well-defined and substantial bass. Both male and female vocals are very smooth and natural sounding. The overall sound character is just a little forward in the treble, slightly recessed in the mid-range with a full and well-developed bass. But one of the things you'll definitely experience when listening to these is a level of sonic refinement and clarity that is unlike anything you'll hear from another budget speaker system. Music listening is very engaging, whether you're listening in two channel, five, or even seven channel audio. For example, listening to Peter Gabriel's New Blood Live in London concert on Blu-ray features a full orchestra and sounds absolutely amazing on these speakers. The sense of being at the concert is impressive and the overall presentation is incredibly natural. The orchestra's strings are clear and present and Gabriel and the other vocalists sound very realistic. The tower, center channel, and surround speakers all gel perfectly together to create a completely immersive soundscape. And then listening to vocal heavy tracks from Fleetwood Mac's Rumors album is very pleasing to listen to as well, especially the imaging. If you close your eyes, you really feel like you can locate where each band member is. These are just really fun speakers to listen to. And as great as it is to enjoy your favorite music with these speakers, if you're after a true home theater experience, then these speakers will definitely deliver. The timber matching of the five speakers is exceptional. This is what helps produce a uniformity of sound for movies or multi-channel music listening. So for example, when watching Transformers Dark Side of the Moon, these speakers are impressive. They did an excellent job of controlling the bass and mid-range during gunshots and when Transformers are transforming and keeping the mid-range high frequency assault of things like smashing glass from flattening your ears. And the whole movie is just amazing to watch with these speakers, but one scene I love is when Sam is riding with Bumblebee on the highway and there's this whole chase scene going on. And then at one point Bumblebee tosses Sam out while he's transforming and you have these propane tanks flying, uh, flying through next to Sam while he's screaming. And the sub does a great job of bringing in the low end and then all the detail these speakers provide make the whole scene feel so real. I mean, the whole experience really feels like it's happening all around you, as opposed to sounds just coming from speakers. There's just this seamless soundscape you get, and it is so fun to listen to. So watching a movie like Transformers Dark Side of the Moon with these speakers is what a home theater is all about. 
And then Avatar is also filled with a lot of great surround sound moments. For example, in Chapter 7, you have the sound of the blades of the futuristic uh, Hilo flying over the waterfall, which is totally immersive sounding. And then the transition from left to right and then to the rear speakers as the Hilo moves across the screen is as smooth as silk. It is seamless. Now Pacific Rim is an example of an action movie that can sound a mess and give you a headache on a lesser sounding speaker system. But these Pioneer speakers handle this very busy uh, movie from beginning to end without being the slightest bit fatiguing. Even dialogue from the center channel was very well delivered and highly articulate. One of the more annoying things in a home theater system is a muddy center channel, as it will quickly ruin a movie watching experience. But you'll have no problem at all with this Pioneer system. A great movie to test this is watching The Hobbit, because you have Gandalf and others sometimes speaking in very hushed tones. And again, with a lesser speaker system, you'll find yourself having to turn up the center channel to hear what's being said, and then turning it down again when the action picks up. It's very frustrating trying to watch a movie that way, and honestly, it just it totally takes away from the experience but these speakers handled everything brilliantly so that even quiet voices can be heard with great detail. So the bottom line on sound quality with these speakers is that they will give you an outstanding performance that far exceeds their price. You'll get surprisingly awesome bass, clean, brilliant treble, fantastic imaging, and the best home theater experience possible for the money. Now, I also wanna share some tips to help you get the most out of the speaker system. First, give these some time to initially break in. I recommend using these for at least 20 hours to get a better sense of how they should sound. Next, the better the amplifier or receiver you use, the better these will sound. Now these will certainly sound good with an entry level amp or receiver, but if you find these speakers aren't coming to life as much as you'd like, then that is definitely something I'd consider. Also, raising the towers up a bit by setting them on a small platform of some sort um, can help bring the tweeter closer to ear level. The towers are a little on the shorter side, so this is something you can play around with to see if it improves the listening experience at all. And then when setting these up for home theater use, I recommend using a crossover setting between 60 and 80 hertz. Also be aware that depending on your receiver, if you have the speaker set to large, this can cause the subwoofer not to be used. And what'll happen is the speakers will take over the entire frequency range rather than having the subwoofer kick in at some of the, at the lower frequencies. Now in this situation, some receivers have an extra bass option which will cause the lower frequencies to not only be played by the fronts and rears, but also by the sub. I'll talk more about this and go into more detail about this in my receiver review, which you can check below for more information about that. And then next, I wanna compare these to some other home theater speaker systems. Another excellent home theater uh, set of speakers is the Energy Take Classic 5.1. These are honestly outstanding speakers and they do sound very good, but compared to the Pioneers, they're not as powerful sounding which is especially noticeable when watching movies. The included sub does a very good job of providing plenty of rumble during action movies, but the soundstage is noticeably smaller and there's less dynamic impact, again, compared to the Pioneer system. Now, something I was honestly a bit surprised by is that these Pioneer speakers sound very competitive and in some ways better than the Aperion Audio Intimus 4T Hybrid SD that cost almost three times as much. Comparing the overall sound quality of the two, the Aperion tonal balance is richer and warmer, whereas the Pioneer speakers are leaner, but more detailed sounding. And when you compare just the center channels of the two, the Pioneer center channel is actually more naturally balanced and less, less boxy sounding than the Aperion 4C center channel. And then comparing them while watching movies and different action scenes, they were both equally thrilling. Even the Pioneer sub is close to being as deep in bass power as the Aperion sub, which is very impressive considering the Aperion sub has two eight inch woofers. Then when you're comparing just the towers, the Pioneers have better resolution, but the Aperion 4Ts have a richer and fuller sound. So the bottom line is you will not find a better sounding home theater system for the money. And comparing the Pioneer home theater speakers to more expensive uh, systems, you'll find that these are still very competitive sounding. And in some instances, they actually sound a little bit better. But even though you won't find a better sounding set of home theater speakers for the money, there are some reasons to consider getting something else. First, these speakers are bulkier than many alternatives and the large center channel can be difficult to place given its shape and size. So if you or anyone else living with you can't live with the Pioneer size, the Energy Take Classic 5.1 or even smaller yet, the Energy RC Micro 5.1 system is an excellent alternative. They're both stylish, compact, 
and sound very good for their size. Personally, if I didn't have room for the Pioneers and still wanted the best home theater experience possible for the same amount of money or less, then I would choose one of these depending on how small I needed the speakers to be. Next, the black wood grain vinyl is the only color option and this might be a deal breaker for some. Nothing about the system gives you or your friends the illusion of a high-end system. So if you're after speakers that give you more of a pride of ownership factor, then you'd want to consider something else. They basically look like the typical budget speaker system you would find at a department store, except they definitely don't sound like them. So this would be another situation where the Energy Take Classic 5.1 could be a better choice, where its glossy piano black finish definitely comes across as more elegant and snazzy looking. And then finally, in terms of the sound signature, the highs of this Pioneer system are very smooth, but they might not satisfy someone who prefers a very bright sounding speaker. Now, if you already own these and want to brighten them up a bit, removing the grills will cause these to sound a little bit brighter. But otherwise, you will not find a better balanced, more engaging, and better sounding set of speakers at this price. This is the home theater system to beat, and right now, it is easily the best sounding 5.1 speaker system under $600. It delivers a very satisfying level of sound for music listening and especially movies as all of the speakers blend seamlessly together. The speaker designer Andrew Jones really delivered a gift to the surround sound connoisseur on a budget. Anyone who loves movies and having the best home theater experience possible will absolutely love these speakers. So hopefully this review was helpful for you. Uh, if so, leave a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And remember to check below for additional information about these speakers, especially where you can get them at for the best price. And then if you're interested in any of the individual reviews, check below for information about that as well. But otherwise, thanks for your time. I really appreciate you guys watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video.